Hi, this is Justin from Ajar Productions. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a logo to your digital magazine output that you've created with N5, and that logo can have a hyperlink. Down at the bottom, you can see the viewer display panel that's got uh, different menu options for the person who's reading it, and it also has a logo on the bottom left. And if I hover over that, I can see it's a link. I can click it, and it will take me to a website. So I'm going to show you how to add that in this video. We'll do that in Adobe Illustrator, but first I'm going to show you the settings in InDesign that I use to export. So here's my magazine in InDesign. It's just a cover image for the test file. And when I go to export, I'll go up to N5 and choose export HTML5 with N5 so I get the full export dialog. And in the viewer display panel, I've chosen a custom color. It's for my swatches in the document, so it includes my branded colors. I've selected that for a logo. I've got a custom page progress bar color at the bottom. And all I need to do is attach an SVG logo. So if I select this, you can see this is an SVG. I just locate that SVG by clicking Browse and attaching it here. And then when I export, I get it in the output. I'm going to show you how to create that SVG now with a hyperlink in it. So here in Illustrator, I have the starting bits of the logo. I've, I've colored black here so we can see it. That's just for our working copy. And what we want to do is create a rectangle that is going to be the clickable area for the logo. So I'm just going to select the rectangle. Right now it's black. And I'll just make sure I cover all that content. And then what I want to do is take the opacity down to zero. Now you might think uh, you could get the same result by setting the, the swatch to none. The problem is there may not actually be a rectangle there. So you do actually want it to have a fill, but set the opacity to zero. So that's an important distinction. With that set, I'm going to go up to Window and locate the Attributes panel. And if you don't see all of this, it might look something like this to start with. You just go to the Flyout menu and you click Show All. Now with this rectangle selected, I'm going to select Image Map and I want to put in a URL. I'll just hit enter to apply that. And so now I've got, got the URL in there. Now it's very important how I save or export this from Illustrator. So let's do a test. I'll use export and choose export as. And just leave these options as they are. I've opened the SVG file in a text editor and uh, don't be too scared of this. It's, uh, it's XML. It's very similar to HTML. We're not going to do anything complicated with this. Uh, I just want you to notice that it doesn't have my link anywhere. So for example, if I did a little find for uh, HTTPS, because my, my link was HTTPS, it's not in there. This uh, doesn't actually work with the export option in Illustrator. So let's go back and see what we should do instead. Now inside of Illustrator, Instead of that, I'm going to go up to File and choose Save a Copy. And I'll just call this one, let's just call it Copy. And in the format, I'm going to change that to SVG. And again, I'm basically just going to leave the default options here. Not going to mess with that. And then opening that in the text editor, you can see quite clearly it does have the link. And so if you, if you want to apply a link to an SVG image or something outside of Illustrator, this also gives you a sense of how to do it. The rectangle is sitting at the bottom of the code inside the SVG tag. So this is just a rectangle and it uh, is covering the content. It has a link applied. So it's very similar to HTML. And the only thing that's different is that in addition to href, it's, it's got this xlink colon in front of it. Uh, so this is very easy to replicate by hand, but it's easy to do in Illustrator too. One other thing I'm going to do, uh, usually N5 will do this when it's exporting, uh, but it's not always perfect. So I'm just going to add a target here, set that to a string of underscore blank. Let's play an old HTML, and all it means is that this link is going to open in a new blank window. You want to make sure to say underscore blank, because that is a specific meaning. So I'm going to save that. So then that's what we attach here in the export settings for N5. And then in the output, this is what we get, this logo. So obviously this is the original white one, but it's the same exact deal. It's just an image that I have attached, but because it's SVG, it can contain interactivity 
and in this case a simple hyperlink so if you want to add a link back to your brand inside your digital publishing document this is a great way to do it with a simple SVG attached as your logo so I hope you found this video helpful please do like it if you did and subscribe to the channel to get more videos like this hope to see you in the next one thanks so much for watching